The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God in creation and is commanded in Scripture to be held in honor by all people. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but soberly, deliberately, and in the reverent fear of God. John is passionate. He's so fun. Um, he's he's always happy. John is so loving. I feel like he always thinks about me first. He's considerate. Um, if I've had a bad day, my favorite part about John is his drive. When he cares about something, when he likes to do something, he puts his whole entire self into that thing, and that's what I love about him. Haley is caring, beautiful, and uh, one of the most strong-willed people I've ever met. She just loves everybody. She loves deeply. The first time I met her, we had actually, our brothers had got into a fight, and she kind of approached me about it. We just kind of joked about it, and I kind of made a smart aleck remark. And I knew right then when she popped back at me, there might be something there. We've been uh, working towards it ever since then, I guess. Hey, Fluff, I just wanted to tell you I'm uh, here to support you and enjoy you on your special day. We love you so much, and pray God guides you in your future. Love y'all. John, this doesn't even feel like real life, but it is. It's our life. I have dreamt of this day my entire life, but something is different. Since I was a little girl, I've always wondered who I would marry, but it's you. Everything about you makes my dreams feel complete. The way you love me, even through my stubbornness, the way you encourage me in everything I do and support me in my walk of faith, there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to be the best husband ever. Dear Haley, I can honestly say you called it from the beginning when you wrote a note on some chemistry homework saying we would get married four days before we'd even started dating. At the time, I never thought it would get to here, even though I hoped it would, but I have never been so happy to be proven wrong. Your passionate heart, the way you can strike up a conversation with a stranger, your generous soul are all things I have prayed for and the man I get to spend the rest of my life with. We have been through a lot in the six and a half years we've been dating. Deaths in the family, turmoil, worry and fear, plus I have changed career paths at least five times. But one thing has remained consistent, your love for me. Our love is so special and I cannot wait to see where this life takes us. I'll meet you at the end of the aisle. We made it. I love you. I cannot wait to grow old with you. Haley, you are the person my mom prayed for that I would find. You are the best thing the Lord has ever given me. And I'm so happy to see what is in the future for us. I love you so much. Our Heavenly Father, we bow before you today. I pray, oh God, your blessings upon this union today. The home that will be made, the family that will be made as a result today. We give you thanks and we give you praise because of this day. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may kiss your bride.
Growing up, me and Haley were always very close, going on every vacation, camping trips, and much more together. Even though we have a couple age years gap, Haley has always made me feel included no matter the situation. She was someone I look up to and always have for advice no matter what it is. She is patient, strong, compassionate, and one of the funniest people I know, and I'm so glad she's a part of my life. I want you to know I have always looked up the man that you are, and I love you. You've been a big inspiration for me my whole entire life. You're going to make the whole family proud. I love y'all.